there. <laughs> Cow manure, no gloves. Uh, <clears throat> soil growers uh, will just appreciate that. <laughs> Nothing like the smell of fertilizer in the morning. Good flush in case aphids remain. <clears throat> and I'm getting rid of this soil because of the aphids. Otherwise, I would go right ahead and, uh, and plant them, but I don't want to bring any in the soil back to the pots or beds or anything. So, uh, Giving it a final, final wash. good enough to get any any remaining hey buddy how you doing cat chilling Huge spider with a sack. <clears throat> Huge spider. Have to relocate them to the blueberries over there. Had an egg sack on it.
got cedar mulch this time. Uh, last year I went for the cheap sale stuff, it's just bread mulch. Um, cedar and pine mulch give off a little, a little acid. Someone posted about tagging, and uh, I've also been dealing with issues tagging, you know, the, I tried the popsicle sticks, ballpoint pen, and uh, someone said the pieces of uh, an old blind, right, and uh, it makes sense, you put a sharpie on something rubbery that'll soak it up. I'm hoping these uh, tomato ties uh, will do. I'm just doing little flags like this uh, on the beds. I'm doing little, I'm tying them to a little spike or whatever. Hope it works. <coughs> I think I made this one too short for the handle. I think this rubbery material will, will hold the uh, sharpie and we'll see. pots close together it uh, they look for that moisture and uh, you can see here I just pulled some off so I gotta clear them out of there when I move them I'm sure
Hey, cat. You're not letting the birds eat, man. <laughs> this is the birds' turf. I don't know why you're hanging out here. Aren't you usually over by my plants over there? So I'm finally done here uh, with the exception of these these last couple, some doing horrible. Uh, just left them for last. White ghost. Uh, just ravaged from aphids. Look at this uh, Frankenstein bubble gum. I do have a couple others that did better. These. These look okay, the pepper in a can uh, challenges. I brought them out. I'm not going to leave uh, anything in the grow room. So uh, I might find a place for those inside the greenhouse. Uh, yeah, so the rest of the replants are here. Some of the smaller. Again, not not everybody's doing great. That's just uh, looks so yellow. The sun is shining. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're scorched, but it's actually the sun. Uh, yeah, these are some of the last to get uh, seeded, or last that I dropped. Some of Kang's crosses, the Kangstar Hornet, uh, Kangstar Red. This is another Frankenstein bubblegum, uh, Lemon Starburst. That's probably the uh, furthest along besides the one over there in the can. This is a boot night purple. I tried that seed. It's like two seasons old. I grew it before. Uh, had a couple of seeds left. Just gave it a shot. Uh, Pepper X again. Just one plant. Uh, Hell's Bells. Uh, these things got really messed up. And I, <laughs> I took the better looking one and I I banked on this huge uh, container. This must be like 15, 15 gallon container. And I got some, some chocolate ghost jammy. I got a huge 15 gallon here with a Andes chocolate on Reaper. These are stuff I got from Peter Stanley. Here's a chocolate champion. This is a 10 gallon, I think. So, yeah, I got a lot, a lot less peppers than last year uh, due to the aphids. I stopped, uh, kind of stopped uh, sprouting seeds because I knew I wasn't going to be able to handle everything and fight the aphids and stuff. So, uh, this bed got three less this time, three less, uh, four less I had in the middle. Just got, uh, eight now. I got some, uh, berry cream bubble gum. I think that's a tomahawk over there. Uh, this will probably be my one mystery plant. I recorded a little snippet uh, putting it in and I moved along. I think it might be a ahi confusion maybe. And these are three sweet twisters with two red bells back here. And Tomatoes are coming along all right over there. And the groundhog ate my three cucumbers here. 
left them stripped. Weren't looking great. I planted them with a early hardening, but yeah, this guy came. I set these uh, spikes. I'm about to mesh that thing. I uh, got a, a cucamelons right here. I see spotted a tiny one already forming there. Um, I think I'm gonna drop another plant here. I kind of missed that. Uh, might have to be another cucumber because it did some work on that. So here's the rest of the pots. Uh, got a candy spice bubble gum right there. Frostbite, frostbite. It's not that yellow. It's it's the sun. <laughs> uh, another Andes chocolate on Reaper. Some are scattered because I was first planting whatever looked nice. Uh, Batman pineapple habanero right there. There's a Reaper Mad Bull cross I got last season. Black Naga. Uh, yeah, just I know you you saw all these inside. It's another Batman pineapple and Peter Stanley's Reaper Maruga. A little yellow. This one is yellow, but uh, yeah, hopefully they'll come back. These had a lot of rain man a lot of rain so these are all the pots and this bed here also got uh, less I'm thinking of dropping a couple in the middle it's it does look like it has space but last season I, I planted 15 here and it was it was a pretty pretty hectic jungle in here so still gotta uh, finish tagging these I left the cups in here to uh, not lose them another Reaper Maruga from Peter Stanley here in the corner and, uh, Tomahawk I, I spaced out different varieties, some in beds, some in pots, uh, just to, you know, uh, see, you know, uh, see the differences and how, uh, how they turn out, just in case one does better than the other. Here's another, uh, berry cream bubble gum. These nice dark foliage on these. This is a blue ghost. These not doing that awesome, but you know they'll bounce back. But yeah, it looks looks like I could maybe drop those those other plants maybe where these where these sticks holding the uh, weed block is. Maybe just four uh, one but yeah that's pretty much what I did last season so and it was it was big it was uh, it was a big cluster I'm really tempted to just uh, sacrifice those peppers over there and leave that alone like here also this was clustered up with peppers in the middle so uh, I think that's it uh, my next update will probably be after I see some growth on this stuff. And let's see what's going on. The berries are set. All, all, the, uh, all the blueberries are loaded with fruit. Look at this stuff. It's really lots, lots of berries on this one. All of them are pretty much this this high bush took a big big uh, 
stem and shot it up. I was gonna cut it, but then I noticed all the fruit buds. It has a ton of fruit, so uh, I said, no, I'm not gonna, I'll deal with it. It's not gonna fit in the cage I used back there. Have to fi uh, fix that cage. Here's the raspberry. And we've got a few flowers. This is a yellow, yellow and raspberries. Yeah, everything's going. Peonies are open. Uh, got this is new uh, potatoes. I had to. I first planted these. Uh, up top and then I saw uh, how to properly do it and I have to, I had to uh, get them out and plant them probably around here then keep covering them up as as they started popping so yeah I think that's it everything's doing great here the greenhouse ton of kale and uh, still picking kale from here like almost every day uh, asparagus I let some go and they forked over there uh, yeah got the fountain ready over here rearranged some stuff in the fountain moved this this purple flower and dropped some couple annuals around so uh yep see you guys next update uh, thanks for watching